morning um, on a very wet and rainy day in Leeds. Um, if you're in the UK, you'll know that we've had a, a, a spell of unseasonably warm and humid weather, um, which has been absolutely killing me. This is the warmest room in the house by far. The sun beats down on that window all day. Um, so I usually have the curtains closed and whatnot, but it's just been too hot for me to even think. I, I always tell people, I'm sure I, my genes go back to some sort of Scandinavian or Icelandic country where it's really cold, because I don't feel the cold as much as a lot of people, but as soon as it gets hot, I just... So, um... I know Norm will be having a laugh to himself, so it's been sort of around 32, 28 to 32 for about four days, and it's been really, really humid. Um, Norm's one of our friends in Australia who uh, always jokes with me about the ridiculous weather when he's uh, chilling out there in, you know, 40 degree temperature or whatever. Anyway, um, I'm behind um, because I've had a few days off. So um, I've got a cool lick for today, a really pretty one. Um, there is a another video coming Friday, which I'm I'm hatching a I'm hatching a plan for that one, and there will be a Patreon only um, rap uh, lesson on playing over non blues chord changes as well. Going to look at chording this uh, in this next video, which I'm really looking forward to filming, I might get that done today. Speaking of which, um, Patreon, uh, the content on there is slowly starting to build up now, and obviously, if you subscribe, you've got everything. Um, you can access everything that's ever been put up there. Um, so if you do want to subscribe to my Patreon thing, I'm getting slightly better at this self-promotion. There's a link. Um, it really is the absolutely best way, I think, at the, uh, to support me if you if you like what we're doing it's what seven dollars a month ain't nothing and i'm giving a lot away for free it's even better stuff <laughs> even better is that possible even better stuff on the patreon anyway um let's get on with this lick i've got a very very lovely um slow blues lick today this is one i've stolen out of one of david barrett's study songs called blues for paul delay so I would imagine if it's not a Paul DeLay lick, then it's sort of heavily inspired by Paul DeLay at least. Um, I'm going to break with the format slightly because I'm going to give you two versions of this lick. Um, one for a standard use uh, over the one chord, as we usually do. But this works particularly well over the 541 uh, area of the blues, bars uh, 9, 10 and 11. So um, there's a different version for that. And the 541 version is the version that's actually out of the song. And I've just altered it slightly to, um, to fit over the one chord. Anyway, so here's the lick. Really pretty. Um few challenges so we've got eight blow eight draw hit the wrong note there you're going to notice um i've already recorded me playing this you're going to notice at points i miss that eight blow and i tried to uh, make it sound deliberate like i didn't miss it uh like i deliberately played the wrong note but the skill here is uh jumping up to that eight. Oh, terrible so Eight blow, eight draw, four draw. So there's a challenge here in the leaping around on the harmonica. I think that's the, um, I think that's the delay influence. Which is lovely by itself, but. Eight blow, eight draw, four draw. Seven blow, seven draw. Seven blow, seven draw. Six draw, six blow. Six draw, seven draw, seven blow, six blow. All together.
really, really pretty. Um, absolutely lovely. Little lick. Now, um, on when I uh, mess about with this lick, I'm trying to use the 541 variant almost exclusively. So um, I put the tab up there. You can see the tab. Um, the tab is also written down. I don't need to sit here yelling eight blow and six draw at you. Ah, here we go. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely beautiful. So that's all there is to it. I'm, I'm tr I try to stick quite closely to the the main lick here and sort of fiddle about with it rather than running off in different directions. Um, but there are a couple of points where I come astray. So uh, I always like to leave that kind of thing in because I think it's important to see people making mistakes, especially if you're trying to learn. I think. If I saw more people making mistakes back in the early days, I think I'd have felt better about myself. So that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, this is really fun. I hope you enjoy it. Um...
Losing it a bit. <clears throat> Last one. Um, okay, so that was uh, that was really interesting. I enjoyed it, um, but it's definitely a challenge. Oh wow, that uh, German track just ended very suddenly. Um, anyway, cool. Have fun, everyone. Um, I managed, even though it's cooled down a lot, I managed to work up a bit of a sweat during that. Unpleasant. All right, see you all soon.